All right, boys and girls, we are back here with a, another product announcement and I'm actually really excited by this one because one of the things I like to do is get other people into astronomy uh, and we have a great tool for this purpose. This is the LX65, um, very, very different from the 85 because the 85 is a German equatorial mount which we announced last time and now we're checking out this new unit. Tell me more. Well, Simon, about this. you know, I am particularly in love with this little telescope because the nice thing about it is that it is just extremely easy to set up. It goes together in just minutes. You have a, just a, a regular tripod, it just mounts to the top of the plate here with three screws. It's got an easy carry handle, so you can easily just pick it up and drop it on. Very easy to use. And what's nice about the LX65 is it is capable of mounting two optical tube assemblies. Right, well, I've just noticed that. This is something that it's not like a new concept, but there's something different because I haven't seen a system like this uh, for quite some time. But if you've noticed, um, uh, one of the major design things here is it's not a big deal about having the weight balanced or unbalanced because you'll notice there's a slight curve in the actual setup. So you can actually have more weight on the inside and less weight on the outside. So I don't have to put a counterweight on there, which no, is a big all. thing. You know, one of the other nice things about this is it does have an altitude clutch, so which you can disengage, which gives you the ability to balance the tubes. Whether you got one or two on here, you can very easily balance it and lock it down. Which slip down there, but there you go. So another nice thing about it is that it does have an integrated hand box holder, so that you can just pull your audio star out when you're done doing your alignment, just drop it back in. You can even control it from here, don't even have to hold the hand box. Now I noticed that it's also the, the same hand controller from the LX85. Uh, 85 and, and the LX90, it is the AudioStar computer controller, so it has that same 30,000 object database, four hours of the astronomer inside, all that content. Again, you can turn it on and off, but that's what really makes the LX65 a great outreach scope, because it's easy to set up, easy to quickly align and get going and show people objects. So, tell me a little bit more about the actual um, build of this. I mean, compared to something like the LT, how does this one differ? Well, the nice thing about the LX65 is we did take the idea, the concept, that altitude mount with the altazimuth mount with the single fork for the, uh, the LT, and we made it so that it was capable of two OTAs uh, and also integrating the AudioStar computer controller. Right. So I've noticed a huge uh, design change. Uh, I've not seen this style before, uh, and this is obviously something new from Mead. Um, in terms of the, of the casing and everything. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about the design process uh, that's gone into this because you guys actually have a big history when it comes down to astronomy. Well, I think in terms of the LX65 is looking for a new industrial design that really incorporates the, the benefits of our experience in designing telescopes, but with also a more modern look. You know, the nice things about this mount besides the, you know, the handle, which makes it very easy to manage, and the weight of it is relatively light, so it's very easy to put together, but you also have you know, battery compartment molded into the body, so it's very easy to power. Uh, it also has the ability to run off of the uh, external DC jacks, the same 2.5 millimeter, you know, uh, 12 volt power supply. Um, and it just makes it very easy to put together. And what kind of batteries does this one take? Uh, this would be uh, eight C-cell batteries. So for you, those of you who don't know, the C-cells are the fatter ones, uh, not quite as big as the D-cells. Right. Um, We've actually checked this out with the actual C-cell batteries and they will last you all night and some. So if you're one of those guys like myself who leaves things left on, <laughs> you know, it's okay. This will run you all night and pretty much in, well into the early hours of the morning before it even begins to croak. Um, Absolutely. But yeah. of course, you can always plug in other uh, um, things like the power adapters. Um, of course, it's AC and DC. You know, it's all the same. Nothing's really changed on that front. But tell me one of the other big things about this is I've noticed that you've got uh, the auxiliary ports on here, but I don't see a guide port. Is this still usable for astrophotography, which is what everyone's going to ask me about? No, the LX65 certainly is capable of short exposure photography. So if you're doing the moon and planets, you know, that's going to be a great scope for that. It's not intended for any long exposure photography, so right. that's why it doesn't have a guide port. So, and just so you guys out there understand this, the reason why they remove that guide port is most people who are doing kind of long exposures, like five, 10 minutes uh, of some kind of nebula, will experience something called field rotation. Um, mm -hmm. The reason why I don't like to promote using alt as mounts for long exposure is because of that problem. You have to introduce a field rotator, but that's where the LX 
uh, 85 comes into play. So this is interesting that Mead has now got a really nice separation between the two different products. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's one of the things about hitting these types of products is that we've always had a very, you know, over the last several years had a big gap in, in between our ETX series and our LS and LX series. There's a big price difference there. And this puts some products in a very affordable range for a lot of people. Right. So tell me a little bit about the weight capacity because I'm sure I can see people itching away saying, well, I, don't, I already have my own scope. Can I just get the mount by itself? Uh, in the LX65, the mount is currently not going to be available separately, but it's, in terms of mount capacity, it's capable of running a, let's say, a 15-pound primary OTA and then a 7-pound tube on the external uh, dovetail. Right, so if you're looking into buying a scope, um, this would probably be the best way to start. You're going to get a complete package, and of course, if you ever wanted to add another scope onto the side, you co totally could. One of the biggest advantages that I totally see with this particular setup is if you want to do imaging of planets, for example, with the two OTAs and two cameras, I mean, the limits are endless. Yeah, and I've, already, I've already been 3D out testing, with this yeah. too. I mean, you know, stereo vision, <laughs> not, not quite bino viewer, but you know, we're getting there one step at a time. Okay, so right after the break, we're going to show you some more little tips and tricks that Scott is going to do some of the tips and tricks about how to use and set up this actual fantastic piece of equipment. And until then, check out some of the uh, product catalogs that we're going to be showing. And don't forget to check out all the websites and all, all the information. So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. At Mead Instruments, we took optics and made them exceptional. We took learning and made it exciting. We took technology and made it inviting. We took astronomy and made it enjoyable for everyone. And with the new LX65, we took observing to a whole new level. Okay, so here we are, we're talking again, another look at the LX65. The, besides the, the nice altitude lock, which I think is you know, really critical to being able to properly balance the scope, especially if you're putting some additional weight on here, you wanna make sure that you're well balanced so that you're not overloading the motors. So, but once it's locked, the other nice thing about the second dovetail that we have is that it's adjustable. You have a tilt wheel here and also adjustments for the, the altitude so that you can collimate easily this tube with the primary tube. And I've done that already with it. It's, it's very easy to do. And once it's aligned, then it's permanently set up for you unless you take, take it off the tube. 